If the Quest 3 is your first VR headset ever, you're watching the right video. My name is Arzival VR, and today I'm going to tell you about a few apps that will show you what your Quest 3 is capable of as a standalone headset. We'll have seven different categories, and I would recommend getting at least one app for each. I'll also be showing the prices as well as how much storage space is required to download each app to help you decide. First, you'll want to learn the basics. Meta has a series of first apps, all free, whose sole purpose is to introduce certain features or experiences to new users. First Contact gives you an idea of what it's like to be in VR. You interact with the objects in front of you without having to walk or teleport anywhere. You're welcome to go at your own pace, so this is perfect for a no-pressure introduction to VR. First Steps is a bit more involved. You get to know your controllers more by playing mini-games and dancing around with a robot friend. First Hand has two parts. Chapter 1 gets you more comfortable with hand tracking or the act of using your hands as input instead of controllers. What do I do? <gasps> oh my god, I have superpowers. While Chapter 2 teaches you locomotion or teleporting around using your hands. Lastly, you have the new First Encounters that shows off the Quest 3's mixed reality capabilities. I haven't tried this myself, so I'm definitely excited to try it on launch day. Once you get the basics out of the way, you would want an app that helps you warm up, or something that's more involved but doesn't induce beginner's motion sickness or require you to move around too much. Big Screen is a free app that allows you to watch both 2D and 3D movies, either by yourself or with other people in different environments that fit your style. If you're feeling more creative, Painting VR and Vermilion are two separate painting apps you can get to create virtual paintings either in VR or in your home via pass-through. You never run out of paint in Canvas, so you can mess around as much as you'd like. If you're comfortable with the idea of socializing in VR, then some of the big ones are Rec Room, Meta Horizon Worlds, Roblox, and VR Chat. They're basically their own little universes with different worlds you could go into, each one offering a unique way to play with friends, hang out, or meet new people. They all have their own vibe and culture, so you would need to explore them to see what suits you best. Roblox and Rec Room tend to skew younger, while you might find more adults in VR Chat and Horizon Worlds. You also need apps that will give you that wow factor, and since the Quest 3 has the best pass-through out of all the other Quest headsets out there, mixed reality apps are definitely the ones for the job. Cubism is one of my favorites. It's a spatial puzzle game that you can use in pass-through mode and with hand tracking. The mechanics are very simple, but the puzzles will surely get you thinking. Piano Vision, of course, is something we've talked about before. It's an app that helps you learn piano in mixed reality. A physical keyboard is recommended for best results, but a virtual keyboard is also available via hand tracking. World is like 3D Google Maps. You can make it immersive by going into Street View, or you can do it in mixed reality mode and feel like the world is at your fingertips. Sometimes we also gotta get some work done. Horizon Workrooms and Immersed are essentially virtual screens and workspaces that you can use in conjunction with your computer allowing you to work in the metaverse with less physical constraints. Softspace is kind of like a spatial notebook where you can organize your thoughts via text and images. What's cool about Softspace is that it has a built-in AI assistant, and it also doesn't require any computer to use. Just an external keyboard and your hands, and you're good to go. If workouts are more your thing, you have plenty of choices including Supernatural, Fit XR, or Les Mills Body Combat. They all offer different immersive workouts and price plans, so it's really just a matter of preference and style. Lastly, there are also major games that will push both yours and your headset's boundaries. Of course, given their complexities, they also tend to be pricier and take up more storage than most apps. Games like Resident Evil 4, Red Matter 2, and the new Assassin's Creed Nexus games will completely transport you into immersive, intense universes. If you're easily scared like me, you probably wouldn't want Resident Evil. You, man. But the combat and puzzle mechanics are really fun, so you should consider giving it a try. 
Of course, there's a ton of other games and apps in the Quest Store that I didn't talk about, but these are just some suggestions to get you started. I'm always excited to see new people try VR, so again, if the Quest 3 is your first VR headset ever, welcome, and I hope you stick around. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoy this, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any videos.